Hello and welcome, this is Eric from AD Racing Central. The PlayStation exclusive Wipeout Mega Collection from 2017 still seems to attract the interest of players from various different platforms, and with the game being available on the PlayStation Plus Extra tier, it is safe to assume that new players will be introduced to the game on a regular basis. Choosing the right ship is important, and this is actually a bit more complicated than just looking at the main stats that are visible from the ship selection screen. In this ultimate ship guide video, I'll try to clear everything up. Let's get started. You will get a good understanding of what the ship is all about by looking at the main stats, but there's actually more going on under the hood. Wipeout Zone user Big Snake actually gathered all the available information about the hidden stats of all the ships in a spreadsheet that I've linked in the description. In this guide, I've taken all these hidden differences into account and I've also discussed the different teams with top players in the community. This guide will focus on the teams as they are represented in Wipeout HD Fury and not in 2048. Let's go over the teams one by one and please note that all teams have a Fury class variant with more points in certain stats. Faisar One of the original teams from the very start of the Anti-Gravity Racing League, whose director, Pierre Belmondo, created the very first Anti-Gravity engine. With a high focus on handling and a lower than average speed, Faisar might come off as the mandatory beginner team to teach you the ropes of the game. This is true in the sense that a dexterous ship will let beginner pilots have an easier time adapting to the tracks that they might not have learned the layout of yet, but on time trials on the slower speed classes, a higher speed set is preferable by most racers. However, for single races where grinding to a halt because of weapon hits is not that uncommon, Pfizer's high thrust stat will be beneficial, and the hidden stats also teaches us that Pfizer accelerates faster than ships with similar thrust values. Nimble navigating through sections filled with bombs and mines is also important, and on faster speed classes, Pfizer Stixer's nature and decent thrust and shield stats make the team a viable option in some circumstances for top players. Kyrex After being dismissed from AG Systems, Holst McQueen started Kyrex Industries in Russia to focus on the profitable aspects of anti-gravity racing. With its high emphasis on shield, the Kyrex ship in Wipeout HD is on paper not an ideal ship for speed laps, unless its characteristics are well suited to your playstyle. However, by having balanced stats overall, Kyrex is a more than viable pick for any single race with weapons turned on. Shield can be more important than what you may have guessed, as the reduced amount of damage received will allow you to save your shield from making bad rolls, thus increasing your overall speed of an entire race, and Kyrex shield stat is only bested by that of Triakis. The hidden stats show that the Kyrex ship has a lower than average ground grip, despite its handling stat. But if you repeatedly find yourself in situations of trading hits with the other racers, the Kyrex ship might just give you the edge you need. Piranha This team is the result of the merging of Brazilian companies Pier and Hana. The characteristics of the Piranha ship have varied greatly over the years, but in the FX 350 league, featuring Wipeout HD, the focus lies on speed and shield. There are other teams in the game with maxed out speed stats, but none of them can match the shielding of the Piranha ship, making the archetype unique. All this does however come at the cost of slow acceleration and turning speed, as well as low ground grip. This puts Piranha in what might appear as a less than ideal spot for both time trials and single races. That being said, in the right hands, Piranha can be an unstoppable supersonic tank. A pilot who knows what they are doing can use the slow turn speed to their advantage, as it makes it much less likely to overshoot the corner, and if you find yourself outside of the optimal racing line, the readjustment process is much smoother. Once adjusted to the way the ship handles, the incredibly fast and durable Piranha ship is fearsome in the right hands. AG Systems Founded by the pioneer of anti-gravity racing himself, Pierre Belmondo, the Japan-based AG Systems is one of the first companies to ever compete in the sport of anti-gravity racing. With nearly maxed out thrust and handling, and decent shielding as well, the AD Systems ship is lacking only in raw speed. Subpar speed is usually not sought after by competitive players, but AD Systems' otherwise good performance makes the team a popular pick for single races anyway. Worth noting is that despite AD Systems' high handling set of 9, the team does have slightly reduced ground grip when compared to many of the other teams. This means that while AG systems will turn just as fast as the most ideal ships except for Pfizer, you can expect to drift slightly more in the corners. However, AG systems do have a higher acceleration than EDX, despite both teams' thrust value of 9. All things considered, if you're not looking to break speed lap world records, the AG systems ships will suit you fine in almost any situation. Triakis when the conglomerate of three different arms manufacturers came together to make an anti-gravity racing craft, the Trakis ship was the result. The team's stat profile is comparable to that of Piranha, except for having maxed out shield instead of speed. 
Even the hidden ground grip stat is comparable to that of Piranha, even if Trakis actually has a higher acceleration value despite both teams' thrust value of 6. Trakis is a very nice ship. Elimination events is where this ship will thrive, and being the only ship in the league with maxed out shields will always give it an edge over the opposition when it comes to not getting blown up. Lacking both thrust and handling, Trakis is not the greatest pick for a time trial, and perhaps not for single races as well, as other teams like Piranha, Tigrand and Icarus have a better balance between speed and agility. Only the more aggressive pilots will benefit from Trakis' incomparable durability. Goteki 45 Founded on the artificial island of Makana, Goteki 45 was known as the most violent team on the track, but after a complete rebuild of the company, we got the acceleration focus ship with the FX350 lead. Goteki 45 is the only ship with a maxed out thrust stat, and if you look in the hidden stats where thrust is called acceleration cap, the team's value here is exponentially higher that might suggest that the ship has an even greater advantage when it comes to thrust than what is suggested by the in-game stats. With a relatively low speed and one of the lowest ground grips in the game, Koteka 45 is a less than ideal pick for time trials. However, thrust is an important stat in single races, where you can be unexpectedly slowed down at any time, and the team has a decent shield value as well, so in these events, Koteka 45 is worth trying out. EGX The merger of companies EGR and Zayos resulted in EGX, who quickly became known for using heavily cybernetically augmented pilots. The ship in the FX350 league is balanced with a slight emphasis on speed and thrust. Both their shield and handling stats are slightly below average, and the hidden stats reveal even more unfortunate surprises. EGX has a lower acceleration cap than what their in-game thrust values suggest, alongside a very low ground grip stat. That, combined with a slow turning speed, gives the ship a very clunky feeling in the corners. This ship is not a balanced cornering scalpel like Esagai and Haramo, but rather a ship for players at the higher end of the skill spectrum, who knows all tracks by heart and how to preemptively start a turn. With almost all hidden stats below average, EDX is a team where everything must come together perfectly for the pilot, but you should definitely give the ship a try and see if that is the case for you. Esagai Representing the United African Nations, Esagai is known for being one of the most dexterous ship in the league. With Shield being the only in-game stat below average, it is not surprising that Asaga is one of the more popular teams in single races, and with the great balance between speed and handling, the team is a viable pick for time trials on the more technical circuits as well. Asaga is a great ship to learn the game with, but still performance-oriented enough to be a perfectly reasonable main team for veterans as well. Both Asaga and Haramo have almost identical in-game stats, with Asaga having one more point in thrust. The answer to why this is the case, we find in the hidden stats, where Asaga has slightly lower ground grip. This team is not ideal for elimination events, but for anything else, Asagai is definitely worth giving a try. Mirage After developing the MagStrip technology for the AD Racing League, the Dubai-based Mirage Anti-Gravity Excellence Center finally decided to manufacture their own craft to enter the competition with. It is to this day still unclear why they decided to make their ship so incredibly ugly. Leaving all cosmetic valuations aside, Mirage is a balance as AD craft comes with its 8 points in each stat. The hidden stats are also in Mirage's favor, as they have one more point in ground grip, when compared to Kyrex that has the same in-game handling stat. Eliminations and speed laps slash time trials is where the niche spec ships shine, but in single races, a balanced stat distribution is highly viable and is probably in these events where Mirage is best suited. Both speed and acceleration is important in single races, as is handling obviously, but also a high shield value for saving health to use for barrel rolling. In single races, Mirage is definitely a solid pick, and possibly also for other events if the balanced nature of the ship suits you. Harimau Founded in Malaysia as a humanitarian organization, Harimau eventually entered the AE Racing League with the goal of spreading an eco-friendly approach to racing with its sleek, zero-emission ship. Very similar to Asagai, Harimau is a very nimble ship with decent speed, but both shield and thrust is slightly below average. However, Harimau has its strengths where the intermediate and veteran players prefer, meaning that Harimau is a very commonly picked ship for online racing events. Even though they share the same stats as Asagai, except for one point less in thrust, this is balanced by Harimau having a bit more ground grip. This means that while having slightly less acceleration, Harimau does drift less in the corners, meaning that it's the third most ideal ship in the game, bested only by Pfizer and Van Uber. For time trials and speed laps on high speed classes or on technical tracks, Harimau is a viable option, but in single races, it's a great one if you can manage the lower shield. Oricom Based in the United States, Oricom was founded by Delia Flaubert after leaving AD Systems. 
Oricom is a team in a bit of an awkward position, as there seems to be a better option available for almost all circumstances. The ship is fast but not the fastest, and has a low handling stat, and while it's durable for sure, Triakis is arguably more preferable in an elimination event. The hidden stats does however give us a surprise in that Oricom has a ground grip value of 7.5, the highest value available for any team in the game. A low turning speed and a high ground grip gives Oricom an exact feeling in the corners, relieved of any sense of twitchiness. Pilots who can benefit from this can take advantage of the ship's high top speed and shield, which will make Oricom a force to be reckoned with in single races. Icarus Founded by British entrepreneur Bernstein Burns, Icarus was funded by several investors with their mindset on building the fastest ship in the AD Racing League. Icarus is known for being most top players' go-to ship for speed laps and time trials, which is the type of events this ship is tailored for. The ship has the highest handling amount available for any team in the game with maxed out speed, and while it does also have the weakest shield in the entire game, this stat is irrelevant when no other opponents are on the track. Add to this the highest ground grip value available in the game, and it's easy to see that Icarus is on paper perhaps the fastest ship around the tracks on speed laps and time trials. You will also see this ship being used in online single races by skilled pilots, but if you want to try this for yourself, managing your resources and keeping your eye on that shield gauge is very important for your success. Van Uber German AD Racing champion Wolfgang Van Uber created his own team to solidify his ambition of refusing to play dirty and harness the purity of racing. Being one of the two teams added to Wipeout Mega Collection, little is known about the hidden stats of Van Uber, but the main stats hints at the performance-oriented glass cannon craft with a maxed out handling stat. Van Uber handles like a scalpel in the corners with an agility that some pilots may feel is too snappy. This combined with good values in both speed and thrust and you have yourself a ship that can handle a trickier circus with the best of them. The clear downside is the low shield stat and you will definitely feel every rocket and mine you hit. When compared to the HD ships, Van Uber's stats seem generally high, but this ship was added to the game to compete with the fewer ships and their better performances. That being said, Van Uber is a great performing team, regardless of which others it's compared to. Tigron After the fall of the Russian government, Tigron was created by the crime syndicate that rose to power after buying the then failing Kyrex team. Tigron, which was one of the two teams added in Wipeout Mega Collection, also has their hidden stats shrouded in darkness, but it's safe to say that the team is comparable to Icarus. Tigron has a maxed out speed stat, with the rest of the stats sitting just a tad below average. For speed laps and time trials, Tigron is perfectly viable, and you will see the team squeezed in among all the Icaruses on the online leaderboards. However, with no vast disadvantage in any other of the important aspects of a single race, racers of intermediate skill level and above can surely give Tigron a try when racing against other ships with weapons turned on. Just as with Van Uber, Tigron can, if managed properly, be of true competition to any fewer ship of the other teams in the game. Those are all the teams of Wipeout Omega Collection. Feel free to leave a comment with which teams you use for specific types of racing events and why. If you are curious about the hidden stats of Wipeout Omega Collection, click on this video to watch me go over them in depth. Thank you for watching. I am Eric from AD Racing Central and I'll see you in the next video.